Hi everyone, this is my Huawei Mate 70 Pro Plus and it's using Harmony OS Next and it's time to show you how you can use different applications and mostly Google applications in Harmony OS Next or Harmony OS 5. Let me just show you which version this device is using and you can see it is Harmony OS Next 5.0.0123 which is the latest version. Let me check for updates. Your software is up to date and this is the latest version. I just received it probably before uh, a week or something. That means this is the latest version. And you know what's the problem with Harmony OS Next, which is Huawei self-developed operating system. The problem is you can't install APKs because this is a completely different operating system. But you can see I have here a bunch of Google applications already installed on this device and now I will show you how to do this. Let's do it. Okay, I just uninstalled everything. You can see it's missing and now I will show you how you can install your applications. So, for example, you when you transfer from Harmony OS 4.3 to Harmony OS Next or Harmony OS 5, you will receive for all your applications which currently are not, are not supporting Huawei App Gallery which is using for Harmony OS Next and it's very limited that Huawei App Gallery. But all the apps, when you switch from 4.3 to 5, Harmony OS, they will be in a folder and the folder will be coming soon like this one. And all your uh, Google apps previously installed will be here and will be coming soon. And if you want to use one of them, if you tap for example this one, it will uh, write app not available. Aurora Store isn't officially available for Harmony OS Next yet. Stay tuned for updates. Okay, what you need to do is just swipe here on the home screen and open app gallery and the, or whatever it is, just tap on it. Of course, you should be logged in with your Huawei account. Tap here on explore tab and tap on the search icon. Search for Google and tap search. It's written Google is available in my advice here is to use Google Translate on other device with uh, the camera. So I will just point it here and it's available in departure easy or something like this. So this uh, application should be available. Now if you tap here on go, it will directly point you to that application which is named easy to leave country, popular overseas travel application, one click access. And you can see all the Google apps and not only Google, all apps like Spotify, Disney, uh, Netflix and Skype, Messenger and so on are here. Let's uh, check the introduction, what is written. A collection of popular overseas application, one click download and use. It provides essential applications and services for overseas business trips such as air travel travel abroad departure are easy so what exactly this application means this is application created for uh, uh, all the chinese people which are traveling abroad and uh, they can use all the google applications because harmony os next is not meant to be used outside of china at that moment so when you are here at that application remember that logo just hit install you can see it's a very small application but it has uh, internal download so let's hit install and it's ready let me just go here you can see now it is here in my home screen but let's go back and hit open now, this is the welcome screen of the application. This service requires internet access and so on. The green button is agree. Tap on it and wait it. What uh, is the next step? This application try to download 600 megabytes of uh, files. It is written 617 megabytes. So keep in mind that better use it with Wi-Fi. Let's hit download and wait it. 
this uh, pop-up message means installation is complete on the right side is restart now and on the left side is restart later let's hit restart now and your device will be restarted and here comes the important part because people are start asking me what is this application can is it a secure one or it is not I cannot answer you because I am not a developer of this application and it is not an open source application. I am using this application but uh, this is uh, uh, if uh, this is not the case for you, if you are not feeling secure enough because you enter your Google account here and if you think uh, this is not a safe application just don't use it but at that moment this is the only way to use Google applications or any other applications with Harmony OS Next and it has uh, its own problems, notifications probably won't appear for you or sometimes they will appear, sometimes not, but this is the price we are paying at that moment. What uh, this application basically is, this is uh, some kind of virtual machine and it installed all the applications like in a container, in a folder, you can't put them separately in your home screen, but I will show you that after a minute. And this is something like a virtual machine. Is it safe? I don't know. If you want, use it. If you don't want, just don't ask me in the comments, is it safe? Let's continue. Device is restarted. Now tap on the application again. And we have here a welcome screen and that button means startup. And another welcome screen and this uh, tick means uh, the application inside this uh, easy abroad app will be automatically updated over Wi-Fi. So it should be ticked and here this is agree button. Now let's wait it a minute and now it is started. So when uh, the application is started you can hit here on uh, this button. When you are on that screen and if you tap on that Google logo here should be all your Google accounts and this plus uh, button means to add a new account. Of course, it will start communicating with uh, Google uh, servers like uh, in the old days using micro G and here came something interesting. Basically, this is a micro G. If you go to the recent, you can see this is micro G services and this application easy abroad is using micro g services and guys here came the big question is it harmony os really something different or is it still android and huawei makes the biggest scam in uh, smartphone industry i'm not sure but it is this easy abroad application is using micro g services so when you open the application go here on that tab tap here to add a google account and now you can enter your Google account, of course, email and password. Here, I just enter my Google account. It is asking uh, same as micro G services if you are familiar with it. And now allow micro G services to access your contacts. Of course, you should give it all the permissions because it will need them. I will add here a second account. And here are my two accounts added to this device. So I just add two Google accounts in Harmony OS Next. And here that sign, the, the, that button here means remove account. So don't tap on it. If you want to remove the account, of course you can remove it from that green button. Now, when you are ready, just go back. Before we proceed with installing any applications after we just add our Google accounts, you need to tap here on that button. This uh, button is application management. If you tap here, here will be all your applications. But before we start, you can see we have HMS core and next to it we have a button which means exactly a permission manager. If you tap here, uh, you need to give a permissions for this HMS core. If you, uh, my advice is here, uh, if, I, if you want to receive uh, some kind of notifications and everything to work correct, just give it all the permissions. If you have something to hide, just don't give it. But I don't care, that's why I just give it all the permissions. For notifications, allow notifications, all kind of notifications, camera, contacts, micro G services. If you tap on that arrow, we have a comp, which is micro G companion application and if you tap on it you can see location is denied just give it the permissions 
I will give it the permission in app installations all the permissions I will just give it and uh, all the access to notifications so it will be fully working just go back now and tap on the micro g services uh, management and start giving it the permissions I will give it all of them notifications location I will give it all the time because if you for example install uh, Google Maps they will need this all the time uh, location services so media here came that uh, button which is settings button next to the logo just tap on it and it will go directly to micro g settings just these settings are like ever before all everything we just did before it will be here and now self-check this should be marked services it won't be marked because we are missing that gsf but everything else allow micro g services to access your contacts allow and everything else should be marked this is a self-check uh, for the application to work correctly so when you mark everything except that gsf services if you tap on Google accounts, you can see I already have two accounts added on this device. Micro G services are open source and you can check everything online. Is, it, uh, is this just Android masked as a Harmony OS using Micro G services is a different level question. But uh, let's keep that part and go back. When you do all these, go back again if you go here on that application stop if you tap on uh, google and here it's basically written to use a google application you need to download chrome application too let's hit it download and you can see both applications are start downloading google and chrome here we have a uh, google maps and of course you can start searching for other applications uh, here it is uh, Gmail, Google Translate, Reddit is here too. Just check it. Almost every needed application is here. Google Home is here too. And the list is growing constantly. These are all my installed applications. Now, when you are ready, when you are here in that easy abroad, let me just go to the home screen and you can see all the apps are installed in a container or in a separate folder and you can't move them outside if you try to move them icons can you see that icons can be moved from this folder so only this uh, folder can be used now let's start uh, logging in to some applications but before we proceed again let's go here to easy abroad and here is the list of all the installed applications if you tap again on that icon and go here here are all the apps we already checked micro g services and hms core but let's check the others so the uh, button next to the applications uh, this is the uh, application info or application management if you tap here you can see we have a different permissions for every application so if you want to use them just give it all the permissions and notifications now when you are ready with all the apps and give it uh, all the permissions now you can start open the applications separately for example let's go and open gmail new in gmail got it and your accounts will be here take me to gmail got it and i have already a security warning let's open youtube and you can see it's a premium because i have a premium uh, google account uh, youtube account and it's even a premium it will work google will work here came something uh, important if you want to share files if you tap here you can see you cannot see any files here even you give it all the permissions if you tap in gallery nothing is here because this is a virtual machine and it can access your main files that means if you want to share some kind of files or screenshots or whatever you are using you need to open here easy abroad 
wait it, go to that tab again and you can see here on the most right side you have a folder. Tap on that folder, you have uh, different explanations here and if you want to share something just tap here, give it uh, to that application easier abroad, give it a permissions to allow access to all files. When you give it the permissions, just tap here on the plus sign and here it is uh, written that uh, imported, fi imported files will be accessed but by uh, easy abroad application. Just tap here and select a file you just want to share. I will just select this file, tap done and now it is here. And what is happening now when it's here, for example, let's tap here and open telegram. Now if I want to send a file, you can see this file is already here. So first you need to import them to easy abroad and after that you can access them. That's the way to use Google applications in Harmony OS Next guys if you want and that's the way to share our files too. And if you want to thank me just subscribe to my channel and like my videos. Thanks for watching and of course have a nice day.